Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Today I am using the Meta AI glasses, the Ray-Bans. If you can see them there, I'm using them to go on these jobs for my safety, for to record these videos. I really recommend these glasses. Today what we're going to use is the Autel KM100. We're not going to use it for programming, but we are going to generate this Autel key. It's a Nissan style and that's what we're working on. We're working on a 2012 Nissan Leaf. So we're gonna go ahead and generate this smart key to that vehicle and then we're gonna program this key to that vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So Okay guys, so this is the section for the universal key to go ahead and generate it. You could put the make and model and it'll give you some options of a key. So I look up the key model, the FCC ID numbers before I go to the job. I kind of study the job before I go, so I won't be surprised if it's a different key. So I could just be fully prepared of what's coming. So I know it's a Nissan. <clears throat> so we're gonna go to Nissan. There you go. Then it's gonna be a Leaf. Then I know it's an 808 right here because I have a little chart that's a PDF chart that tells me exactly what kind of key it's going to be with the FCC ID number and the information of the vehicle. I'll go ahead and put a picture of it right now. But we're going to go ahead and choose this one, the 808. So the last FCC ID number is 808 right there. So and then you hit generate universal key. Your Autel key does have to have a battery and you put it in here and it'll generate that key and it'll make this key for that vehicle. We've arrived on the job site. This is the little white Nissan Leaf. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna plug into the OBD2. That's gonna be under the plastic pieces on the bottom. Then we're gonna go into our Autel 508. I usually like to do an auto VIN. So we're gonna hit an auto VIN, but this vehicle did not have any keys. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the emergency lights on to collect data. So we'll try to auto VIN it, see if it works. So it did not take the auto VIN. So we're going to go ahead and look up the vehicle, enter the information manually. So once you enter the manual mode, it'll go ahead and prompt you to go ahead and put in the, the make of the vehicle and then the model, all the information of the vehicle. I'll just prompt you. Just make sure you select the correct one. So here is telling us what kind of model is it. So we're going to look for the leaf. There's the leaf. Once we choose all the information that's correct, it's gonna list it there. Now it's getting into the computer. I like to do an emo status scan. What that does, it checks the health of the immobilizer system to see if there's any DTCs, if there's any issues. So I like to do that first to make sure that there's no faults that I'm not aware of. So here it is scanning the system. So here as it's doing the scan, it's checking everything, how many keys, what type of key, just information about the immobilizer. It's almost done now. So 
So once you finish the the scan, you go ahead and check the report. I usually like to check this report just to look at the information. Then you're gonna go ahead and go to the function. It's either add key or all keys lost. In this situation, it's all keys lost. So we chose that. On the Nissans, what it's gonna do, it's gonna read the pin in the beginning. So it's gonna give you a series of instructions of what to do step by step. So it's telling you to go ahead and open the door and close it. So it does give you instructions. You just got to read those very carefully and just follow them. It's very easy with the Altel, the KM100, the 508, the 608. The simplicity about the Altel is amazing. So there I did, it did get the pin. So now it's going to go ahead and start giving me instructions on how to program this key. So first it's going to ask me to go ahead and hold the push to start button until the dash lights come on. So from there, it's gonna go ahead and connect. Then it says to turn off the ignition. Then it's telling me there to hold down the button, the push to start button, and then put the key that you want programmed right on top of the button so it can connect to the key and get it programmed. So then it's gonna give you a series of pushing the button on and off. Just follow those instructions, very easy. It's just basically going to finish the programming and then it's going to sync all the data to make sure that everything connected together. Then we turn it off. So there, that's what you want. Key program successful. Once you turn off the vehicle and it's on the off position, you go ha you go ahead and test the remotes. You test everything out, make sure that the vehicle is on. This is an electric vehicle, so you won't hear the motor turn on. It's just electric, it just turns on. So we have to just test everything and that's what we did. So if you can see there, it did turn on the car and I went ahead and put it on drive and reverse and just to make sure that it goes forward and backward because again, the car engine does not turn on. It's an electric vehicle. <clears throat> so he was programmed successfully we're going to go ahead and remove our tools then we're going to put everything back together as we found it then i'm going to go back to my vehicle cut the emergency key blade and then from yeah, there we do key. have a finished successful job that's how easy it is to go ahead and program a smart key for a 2012 Nissan Leaf. This would work for multiple Nissans. And if you're interested in more videos about the locksmith world, about the new key programmers, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button and leave a comment and I'll go ahead and respond to any of your questions. I know how it is when you're a beginner. I was a beginner once, so this is where I'm at now. And this is where you can be in the future just with a little bit of training.